Hi and welcome, this is Dr. Dave, Freeform Friday. I wanna to talk to you about the difference between lifespan and health span. Lifespan, pretty self-explanatory, how long you're gonna live, sucker. Health span, on the other hand, is how long you're gonna live in good health. The recent data is pretty sobering on this matter. It basically says that we are gonna live 20% of our lives, of our years, in poor health chock full of those chronic degenerative diseases and conditions, and you know them well, right? I'm not gonna go through those now. That 20% translates into 16 years for you men folk, 20 years for women, that you'll live in poor health. A lot of what I do is not necessarily to get you to live longer in poor health, but rather I want to have you be healthy and enjoy good focus, energy, clarity of thought, concentration, memory, pursuit of happiness, joy, right? I want you to be able to do all those things until about 20 minutes before you die. I don't want you suffering, lingering uh, for 10 to 20 years. Are you kidding me? And that's then all part of why I do my unifying theory of health, happiness, and longevity. Everything I do is really designed for that end point of increasing your health span. Now, there's a recent article in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, published earlier 2020, so pretty recent stuff, looking at what lifestyle behaviors you could adopt to improve not just your lifespan, but more importantly, your health span. Years living without disease, that's pretty important. And the four may or may not surprise you. The first was keep your weight below, I guess, 20, well, make your BMI 25 or less. That's not easy, right? Especially if you look at the statistics, but that is one of the big four in terms of uh, living a long time, more importantly, living healthy a long time. The second is, as you would guess, physical activity. That includes exercise and non-exercise activity. Stay active, keep moving, never stop. Like driving in the snow, you never accelerate, you never break, you just constant motion, right? So that turns out to be one of those lifestyles. The second is never smoke cigarettes. Actually, that's the third one. I've lost count, All right? So keep your BMI 25 or less. If you ever smoke, stop now. If you're smoking now, hopefully you've never smoked. That tends to be one of those health-related behaviors. That's a biggie, physical, act physical activity. And one that surprises you and may actually uh, buoy your spirits is moderate alcohol consumption. Moderate's the key word, All right? Um, consider those among the other health-related behaviors you're trying to inculcate into your daily lives, but watch your waistline, be active, don't smoke. If your constitution permits moderate consumption of alcohol, I'll be back with later, I'll be back later with other of my kind of top 10 health-related behaviors, but that just showed up in the literature came across my desk earlier this week. Thought I'd share it with you, Freeform Friday. Dr. Dave signing off. Until next time, uh, be safe and, for crying out loud, stay sane. Thanks, see you, bye.